Hello, everybody. Welcome to the A. Haldry Show. Today on the A. Haldry Show, I have a special guest speaker. He's an actual author of the book called Socialize With Me or Someone Else Will. I love that title. His name is Caspari Maturano. Caspari, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Awesome. Dude, I, I have never met you before. And the cool thing is we met through a website called Fiverr. Did I pronounce that right? That's correct. Yep. And um, I was looking for more people to help, you know, promote their brand and everything. And I saw you got this book called Socialize With Me or Someone Else Will. Man, let me tell you, I am so excited that you're here tonight and I can share with everyone this book. Everybody check this book out. And you know how big I am on social media. This book you guys got to get. I'm telling you, it is like a reference tool. I haven't even made a dent in this book. And it's so damn good. So let's go on and ask this author about what is about this book that's so good that everybody should get their hands on it. Now, how do you pronounce your first name again? Uh, it's actually Gaspare or Gasper, a lot of people call me. Okay, Gaspare. I'm, I'm Latina, so I will say Gaspare. It would be easy for me. Okay. Um, okay. When did you first realize that we needed a book like this? Well, you know, there's a lot of books out there uh, talking about social media and different aspects of it. But I was looking for something that, that wasn't quite as as simple as like one of the dummies Facebooks, but I didn't want something that was too complica complicated either. So I kind of wanted something that was the line in between, uh, really for the basic to intermediate user when it came to social media, learning a little bit about different aspects of different sites that are out there, and at the same time, giving someone a pretty clear overview on the do's and don'ts uh, of the different uh, uh, you know, the big, different big uh, social media um, uh, sites that are out there, what they can and cannot do, you know, just almost like an etiquette book in some in some sense. Wow. Now, let me ask you, Gaspari, uh, how did you come up with the title? You know, I actually own the domain name socializewith.me. Uh, I, I was a really big fan of the dot me's because uh, everybody was getting dot coms. And I, I really liked the fact that the dot me was a, almost like a personalized type thing. So I'd register the name Socialize With dot me uh, some time ago, uh, thinking that I would probably maybe someday put together a uh, conference of sorts. You know, there's so many different social media conferences going out there, and I thought it'd be a, a neat name to use, to use for a conference. I would never put a conference together before, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to do one. So I kind of held on to, to the name for a while, and then um, I, I started writing the book, and I was thinking of different titles, and uh, it just came to me. I said, you know, I have this great domain name. Why do I call the book Socialize With Me or Someone Else Will? I kind of added afterwards. So that's where I came up with the title. And, you know, the domain kind of was uh, I, I owned before I actually finished the book. Wow. You know, I when, the, when I heard the title, at first, I'm telling you, Gaspar, I did not know that this book had so much valuable content. And it started to open me up to more creativity with what I do with social media and it was basically like a good reference book to have you know I think everybody should have this book you know if they're on like you know the main websites like Facebook and Twitter and you talk a lot about using these sites you call them the big three right right so it's Facebook Twitter and LinkedIn and LinkedIn yeah those are those are the main ones I talk, I talk about but I do mention all the uh, other sites that are out there that some people might not realize uh, could be useful to their company, uh, you know, like Flickr, and, uh, uh, and there's quite a bit of YouTube I, I talk about quite a bit, and, and that's kind of a bigger site, obviously. But there's a lot of smaller sites that are really useful for folks, and, uh, you know, utilizing those smaller sites, uh, for, depending on the type of business they have, might make sense. So, you know, I put a lot of tools, tips, and strategies in the book for people to really feel comfortable uh, understanding yeah. some of the different sites are out there. Now, the information is available on the web. You can sit there and Google it. But the problem that I, I think people run into is that if they don't know that a Flickr exists, for example, they wouldn't even know to look for the word Flickr. So, you know, it's th things like that, I thought that, you know, opening them up to different, uh, different avenues besides the big three, I, I really, I, I tried hard to do that as well. Well, let me, let me ask you this question. Um, from what I've read in your book, you've spoken about QR code marketing. Can you tell us okay. what the benefit it is for people who are in business? Sure. Uh, if you don't know what a code is, I'll just show you a little example of one right now. If you if you have a, a code just like that sitting in your book, 
uh -huh. uh, or, or any or business card or, or your advertising. Uh, people with smartphones can actually use their smartphones and take a picture or use a scanner built into their smartphones to read uh, the code and then direct them to a specific website. Now, it's not just great for, for advertising. It's really uh, great for uh, directing people to a specific page, for example. So if I had an ad running in a magazine or a newspaper, and I knew that that demographic, I wanted to see if this ad was working, are they really reading the ad, uh, you could put a code like that onto your ad and direct folks to maybe a special landing page. Or maybe if someone scans it in, they get 10% off you know, when they order from you. So you can take advantage of using this new technology, but that isn't that new. It's been around for quite a long time. I know. It's becoming more and more popular. Oh, yeah. It started back in about 2000. Uh, it, it actually became popular when uh, webcams started becoming more and more popular. And I was first exposed to it when I was working for a publishing company in New York City. And uh, a company uh, for, for the magazine uh, came in and said, hey, why don't you start adding these codes in all your magazine ads and people can hold them up to their computers at home. Uh, it didn't really work that well because not everyone had a webcam at the time. And it, it, I think people were a little confused in how it worked. Communication wasn't like it is today where social media was around and people could communicate how to do things much faster. And now with the advent of all these smartphones, they, they've become more and more popular. And I think that they, you'll see a lot more of them as time goes on. If you read any magazines like Wired Magazine or Fast Company or Inc., all those magazines are now taking advantage of these codes. And a lot of them you'll see in their advertisement, they'll actually have the code built into the ad. So that's what that square with the dots mean. <laughs> I, I know. It looks really funny when you see it. I yeah. You know, mine in my book actually right now goes to the website for the book, or depending on which book you have, it might go to my, uh, my personal consulting page. So that's where my uh, code goes to currently. Um, but uh, like I said, I can change that at will, which is kind of cool. I can kind of point it wherever I want. It's kind of a neat little product. Awesome. Wow. Let me... Um... Okay, one one question here. This is going to be a doozy. Okay, you ready? Okay. You wrote a whole chapter on do's and don'ts, okay, of social okay. media. So, Gaspari, give us one do and one don't for each of the big three sites. Okay, now you're putting me on the... Uh, ah! <laughs> no, I'll tell you, some of these apply to multiple sites, but, you know, I, I, I'm going to give you some general answers that apply to all three, because for me to go to each one is going to be a little... It'll tough, be take I'm, too I'm long. <laughs> So what I can do is, for instance, one of the misconceptions I think people have in social media in general when you're a business is that you're out there to constantly just talk about your business. Just, you know, hey, buy my product, buy my product, buy my product, buy my product. You know, that doesn't work. What ends up happening is people want relationships. They want to know you're a real person. They want to know you, you have interest in them, not just this product you're peddling all the time. So in general, I tell people, don't think it's all about you all the time. Take an interest in what other people are doing with their lives. Uh, you know, some of the people that I've really connected with, I'll give you a great example. This was yesterday. I tweeted, and you know, I was having a long, rough day. So I tweeted out, having a tough day. That's all I wrote, nothing else. I got these wonderful responses from people I never met before saying, hang in there, it's going to get better. I got one person that said, you know, I'm really impressed that you do all this stuff. Why don't you take a break for yourself for once and just shut off your computer? And I read that. I wrote back to the lady. I said, you know what? That's the best advice I had all day. And I took, a, I took an hour off. I went out to the park with my kids, and it was fantastic. So, you know, it, it's, it's, it's really making sure that other people, and I really, you know, I took it to heart to, that these people actually had an interest in me. You know, they weren't trying to sell me anything or anything else. I've had people saying, uh, hey, can I help you with something? Are you overworked? Now, if they worked in, hey, I happen to be a personal assistant. You know, do you need any help with your with your business? But the way they did it was really great. They took an interest in me first and then followed up later on with, if there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. But that's the thing. It's not always about you. So that's, that's, that's really, a, you know, a big don't. Don't sit there and just blast out information about yourself constantly. Um, what you want to do, here's, a, here's the one that's a, a good do, is try and create a consistent look and feel across all your social media properties and where you can. Because on certain websites, for instance, like Twitter, you need to take advantage of that background. Make sure that you, you, know, you, you put a logo in there, put information at the different uh, social media sites you're on, and then replicate that same look and feel across any social media property that you can do it on. Uh, for instance, Anything you put on Twitter, for the most part, translates really well on YouTube. So if you have a YouTube channel, make sure that those two backgrounds are very consistent with each other and that they kind of look the same. It gives a real professional yes. look and feel to your overall business. Yes. So I tell folks, make sure you take advantage of that. 
Uh, you know, one more, for instance, on, on LinkedIn. I'll give you that one, you know, as an example. Actually, no, across the board. Make sure you take the time to fill out all the information you possibly can about yourself. On LinkedIn, I see too many profiles where someone will set up a profile, they'll put their name, company name, and not really fill in a lot of information about yourself. And most people will think, well, I don't have anything to say. You know, what am I going <laughs> to say? Well, you know, if you've been in business for a while, you probably have a lot to say. What are some of the companies you worked at? Uh, what are some of your interests? I know there's exactly. some, um, I know in LinkedIn, for example, you can actually connect um, like uh, Amazon links to it and say, what are some of the books you read? You can put my book down. It's one of the books you read. You know, it, it shows people that there's more to you than just a name. Yes. Uh, so, you know, that's some of the things I tell folks to do. I hope I answered your question. Thank you. No, you really did. And I'm sure this has resonated with a lot of people who are newbies to social media because they come into this world, they think it's all about, you know, promoting business, and it's really not. It's about building relationships, like you said. So that really did drive it home. That's um, one of the takeaways I, I tell folks is make sure you take that away from the book. It's all about relationships yes. and be genuine. Be yourself. Don't try and be something you're not because it's really going to be transparent. People will Keep see it, it real. Keep it <laughs> Keeping it real. That's right, That's Gaspari. Right. Keeping it real, yeah. That's right. So what website can we find the book and be able to purchase it? Uh, you can go on barnesandnoble.com. You can do a search for Barnes & Noble, uh, socializewith.me or just socializewithme. Uh, or you can use my name, Gaspar Martorano. That's G-A-S-P-A-R-E, and then Martorano. It's M-A-R-T-U-R-A-N-O. You can look on Amazon as well. Amazon.com carries the book. Um, you can go to Amazon, like I said, search for Socialize With Me, uh, or someone else will just socialize with. You'll see it come up in the search results. You can go to any Barnes & Noble store, and if they're not carrying it in the store itself, you can ask for it. They can bring it in, because since they carry it in the website, they do have access to it. So it's available at Barnes & Nobles, and it's a lot of independent bookstores. I've really gone to great means to make sure that independent, smaller bookshops still can carry the book. Uh, if, they don't, if they're not part of some of the distributors that I work with, I'll send copies of the book out to them in order to sell. So if you don't see it in your smaller, independent bookshops, ask them, and if they don't, can't get to it, um, you know, tell them to look for me. I'm, I'm, you can Google my name. You'll find me anywhere. But my, the book is socialized, dot, uh, socialized with. Dot That's the website, website, right? That's the website as well. It's www.socializewith.me. So awesome. It's, uh, it's a pretty simple, uh, that's the domain name as well. I love the way you did that. Love the way you did it. Guys, you've got to get this book. I'm telling you, I even, you know, as a fellow network marketer, I highly recommend this for all network marketers who are getting into the field of internet marketing such as I to learn from this book, to keep it as a guideline, to use it as a guidebook because Gaspari really, really did his homework and it's in this book. So you guys got to get this book. Socialize with me or someone else will. Gaspari, thank you so much for being here on the show. It was my pleasure. Thanks, Ace. I hope you enjoy the rest of the book and uh, you know, I hope your readers enjoy it as well, your listeners. Yeah, I, guys, I got the autograph copy. So he sent this to me and I was so happy when I got it and I said, I can't wait to read it and almost done. <laughs> All right, Gaspar. Well, you have a great one. Thank you so much for taking the time. I know. Are you on book tour right now? Yeah, I'm uh, touring. I'll be touring around places in New York, um, North Carolina, and Florida. That's where my my strongest uh, followings are. Uh, I'll be going to California as well, and probably Texas. So those will be the areas I'll be touring around. So if he's in your area, guys, get on it. Go out, get your book signed, and get a signed yeah, copy by him as well. Ace, hey, the best thing to do is to follow me on Twitter at Gaspar M. That's G A S. P-A-R-E and the letter M like Mary. Uh, that's my social media name across all my sites. So if you go to Facebook.com slash Gaspar M, Twitter.com slash Gaspar M, LinkedIn.com, everything is always Gaspar M. Awesome. That's branding. That's branding. <laughs> Love it. Well, you guys, you know, this is what's great about being on the A. Hardy Show. You know, you have a brand, you have a business, or you have a book that you're trying to promote, and you need that publicity then get on the show. You can email me at ahardry at gmail.com. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching the show. Your love and support is much appreciated. Contact Gaspari. Connect with him. Because like he said, it's all about relationships. Take care, everyone. Thank you so much, Gaspari. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.